welcome back to the channel Maths with Berlin. So today we will be solving a problem that was there in the VT search sheets. So this problem is very interesting and this is a relevant candidate for JE advanced, right? So let's just move on to the formal reading of the question. So the question says that there are three circles, each of radius one, that are packed inside an ellipse as the given in the equation, general equation of the ellipse. And the angle ABC is given to us as 2 of theta. Right, let me just mark out the important points. This angle of ABC is given as 2 times theta. After that, it is also given that two of the circles touch the ellipse at two points each and the middle circle touches it at the end of the minor axis. Right, these are the major informations that I have marked out of the question and also the circle is of radius 1 each, right? So these are the major key points that are to be noted. After that it is asking that if the area of the ellipse is minimum, right? We need to find the minimum area of the ellipse. Then we have to find that what is the condition for the angles as well as for the eccentricity, the minor axis and the major axis. Now those who want to give this problem a try, they may pause the video right here and give it a try. For the others, I will move back to the solution. So moving on to this, before moving on to the solution, let me just share some my share some viewpoints. So basically, what you can do in this problem is we need to minimize the thing, right? So just focus on this triangle ABC, right? This is a symmetrical figure, obviously. So we can say that by symmetry, this angle must be equal to theta, and this angle is also equal to theta. Right. After that, also as this, uh, we are connecting the radius of two circles that are touching each other. Therefore, the distance of this A, C, A, B, right? This is B point. This was the point B. Now, A, B is equal to 2 and B, C is also equal to 2. Now, we can try to get some things out of manipulations, right? Now, also, I need to mark out some important points uh, here also, that is uh, where the circle is touching the ellipse. Let us say that this point that is there, that is a point at where the circle is touching the ellipse. Let us say that point is equal to O. Oh, sorry, D. Let's say this is the D point, right? And the normal to this ellipse must pass through the circle, center of the circle C, right? So now moving on to the hints part before the solution. So in the hints, we have two basic hints that are there. That is the first hint is about componendo and dividendo. That is, you all know it, right? That if x by y is some fraction that is equal to a by b, then we can obviously say that x by x plus y equal to a by a plus b. So this is very important when it comes to this problem solving. And also the second, for the second end, we have chosen that the properties of ellipse that are very useful here. So only the basic properties that we know, right? That is a square into 1 minus c square equal to b square like that. Properties like that. So now moving on to the solution. So for the solution, if you see what we have done is we have tried to make out the figure, right? What we did is we made out the figure so that it is very uh, you know, handy for us that this is A, this is B and this is C. This was C, right? Now, the midpoint that was there, that is O, that uh, let us assume that it is the origin. So when we assume that it is the origin and we have, we have already said that by symmetry, this angle must be theta, that red, red angle one, right? And uh, therefore, what we can do is, we can say that the point coordinate of B is my 0 comma minus 2 cos theta and the coordinate of c is 2 sin theta comma 0. After that what we can do is let us just move back to the question part right because you may understand it from the figure better because it is a very good figure that was there. So just erasing a part of it. Now we know that this length right we know this length and we also know that this is equal to B. And we know that this uh, length that is there, that is 1. We know that this is equal to 2 cos theta. Therefore, we can what we can say is that 
b is equal to 2 1 plus 2 cos theta so that is what we have written in the next part that is b is equal to 1 plus 2 cos theta right after that what we have done is as we all told uh, as we told that uh, let the circle c right touch the ellipse at the point d if the circle c is touching the ellipse at point d then we can assume that for d as pq with the coordinates of d we can assume it as pq so now what we can do is we can write down the equation of the uh, you know normal to the ellipse the standard equation to the normal of the ellipse uh, in the point form and after that what we can do is from here we can find the coordinates of p in terms of oh, sorry coordinates of c in terms of p and eccentricity of the ellipse how so the normal to the ellipse at d will pass through the center right normal to the ellipse at d will pass through the center and so let's write it down before the pass through c also we know that the y coordinate of c is equal to 0 so we can put this into this equation that is there and we will obviously get the value of the x coordinate right very easy one now just equating the two right we are just what we are doing is we are equating the two equations that is 2 sin theta and that is equal to p e squared right also what we can say from here this one right from this equation we can say that 2 cos theta is equal to b minus 1 so we are uh, on to finding some relation between p e and b right we found out an equation between p e and b so this is the equation number one that we got right this is the equation number one now for equation number two what we can do is we know that the length of c d right that is the center of the circle c and the point where it touches the ellipse that is equal to radius so radius was given to us as one so we can just try to find out the equation uh, length of the following by using coordinate geometry right that is by the help of like this we can do it that is 2 sin theta comma 0 so p minus 2 sin theta comma 0 and the distance between pq so that comes out as 1 and that is what we have written here now 2 sin theta is basically p e squared right we found out that this is equal to p e squared so what we do is we substitute the value of that because we don't want in variable theta in complete like uh, doing it in trigonometry and then maximizing it is very difficult if you see right after that what we can do is also that the point d is on the ellipse right the point d is on the ellipse so what we can do is we can substitute the uh, coordinate of the point b in the equation of the ellipse and we get a third equation that is there, equation number three right after that what we do is we try to subtract the equation two and equation three right what we do is we subtract equation two right and equation three so what we get after subtracting you may do it on your own the subtraction part I have just written down the uh, you know e equation that comes out so the equation that comes out is basically p squared e squared into 1 minus e squared equal to b squared minus 1 this is the equation number 4 that we get now after that what we can do is we can divide the equation number 4 by equation number 1 right because equation number if you see we don't want the variable p here because it is very unknown and it is not convertible into the terms of eccentricity or semi minor axis or semi major axis so we don't want that variable it is uh, very complicated with that variable so we try to remove that variable p so after dividing the two equations what we get is this equation that is 1 minus e squared divided by e square equal to b square minus 1 divided by 3 plus 2b minus b square now after that applying in the hint number one right hint number one we will apply here we will apply the hint number one here and after applying the hint number one you can get the value of a as in terms of b 
right you get the value of the semi major axis in terms of the semi minor axis right so now what we know that the area we know that the area of the ellipse that is there that can be written as pi of ab now we can substitute the value of a as in terms of b and then we can find out the equation of the ellipse sorry the area of the ellipse as in as a function of b now we also know that the uh, differentiating this now we can what we can do is we can differentiate this with respect to b and then put it equal to 0 when we do that you will get that the value of this comes out to be 4 by 3 right therefore delta minimum occurs at 4 by 3 and we have already found out that the equation to the uh, b relation between b and theta we already found out that it is equal to b minus 1 equal to 2 cos theta so therefore from there we can find out that cos theta is equal to 1 by 6 now what we can do is from here we can just directly say that tan theta is equal to root over of 35 by 6 right that is the answer to the question now let's check what is the options that are there correct options so the correct options as you all can see that is option a and option number c so thank you for the solution that you have seen please do like share and subscribe the channel if you find the content helpful and we will bring more such content for the benefit of the students those who are preparing for competitive exams thank you that's it for today